Actually, the body farm is here in Knoxville, the University of Tennessee. They just have dead bodies laying out in a certain part of the of UT, I believe, and I believe it's on UT campus. And they study the bodies there. There's some sang. Hey, we should we do stop look. and just do a dance. Ginseng. Oh. We sang around here. <laughs> Boys, you go get that sang. This kind of stuff right here appalls me, and it really does because I, I love animals. You'll learn that about me as I am definitely an animal lover. Look at the market value of illegal wildlife trade. Check that out. I hate people that hurt animals. What? What? What do we got here, guys? What do we got here? Drones! Using technology to protect. Wow. Perfect. And here we have a Pigeon Forge Police Department uniform. Look at that. I bet you could check out one of my vlogs and get look at one of them. <laughs> for flying a drone. It's pretty funny that the drones are there and the police are here. And that's what they come talk to me about. Miranda warnings, fingerprinting. All right, I gotta see what, which one looks. That one right there. That's the one. Mean mugging. He's a criminal too. Put him in jail. I'm kidding. They're both good citizens. I'm joking, everybody. Now we are stepping into our system of justice. Sometimes, sometimes I believe the system fails us. Sometimes it works. It's not perfect. We all know that. And that... Order! Order in the court of NGO laws. You, sir, are in contempt. To my chambers. Order. You, ma'am, are in contempt. In my chambers. Oh, you witness? Now we've made it to the O.J. Simpson exhibit. Simpson Buffalo Bills card right there. What happened? Hang on, buddy. There's OJ's trial. Historic cases. Famous cases. And then the good old jury duty. Listen to this guy. Meet the warden. He ain't nice. These are all prison made weapons. Zip guns and shanks and bows and arrows and anything you can think of. Famous wardens. Prisons. Prisons. The big house. The clink. The slammer. Now we're on the cell block. Definitely not fun. Here's a bunch of prison tattoos. Looks like my tattoo. Right the wearer is trustworthy and an escape artist. Good. <laughs> Transitions. Probation and halfway houses. I don't like them either. Never been to one of those. Okay, guys, I'm stepping into a place of, of no good. Look at this prison cell. 
Holy cow. One, two, three steps. And I'm at the back wall. It's terrible. Terrible. That's what you sleep in. There's your pot. And I do mean your pot. Probably to pee in and poop in. <laughs> so, okay, so we walked out of that prison cell. You saw that prison cell and how terrible it was. Now, look at Al Capone's. Look at this. I mean, it's not like I wouldn't want to be here still, but at least he's got a nightstand, a bed, a radio, a chair, a little writing desk and lamp and everything. And then, and then after Al Capone's cell, you get to the cell of today's prisoner. Oh, there's Mama prisoning it, 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 it up. See if I can escape. Well, of course I can escape through there. Look at that. It's One crazy. But this is like today's prison cells. You got your thing here, and you know what? Look, they got cameras. There's your sink and toilet. Then you have to push the thing in on the sink to get it to spit water. Yep, just like that. You don't get those electrical hours. And then you gotta dig down it. To yeah, get and you gotta brand. make your hooch in there. Capital punishment. What is that? Is that a. Oh no. Oh no, here's a guillotine. Trying to tempt death. Please do not turn on the guillotine, yep. Yeah. Look at that thing, just chopping down. Firing squad, burned at the stake, beheading. Here's a iron flail whip. Burning, oh, this is just... Everything's, everything in here is awful. You'll be heading out. Pepper punishment. This thing right here, created by New York based artist Christopher Conte, Conte, is a robot to lethally inject somebody so there has to be no human interaction. That's the blueprints. Lethal injection machine. Here's the things they put on you in the electric chair from 1928 to 1962. Those were the belts and then they would wet those and put them on your head. Right here is the gas chamber. Smoky guys, this is Tennessee's electric chair from 1916 to 1960. Named Old Smoky. This is the Delaware lethal injection machine. This noose was used at the Don Jail. I've actually visited Alcatraz when I was real young. I remember, I remember most of it. And our tour continues downstairs. All right, guys, we're at the penny press here. Oh, ready? Hang on, let me. There you go. Go ahead, sir. Then he turns the crank and it presses the penny. Can we see it pressing? Oh yeah, it's pressing. Oh, there it went. Grab it. That's awesome. Pretty can. Let me see. Deep lock segregation. It is an Alcatraz pressed penny. And our hour tour continues downstairs. Oh, holy cow, guys! 
when you come around this corner, it's absolutely amazing. Are we ready? Ooh, look down there. Cars. And there is OJ's Bronco. We're going to go check it out right now. There's the Bronco. You can watch all the videos about how it got here and, and the guy that donated it to the museum. And they're playing it up here on the TV when he was going down the road in it. These are the items from the glove compartment. Al Cowling's white Bronco using the O.J. Simpson case, the Bronco that I just showed you, or the O.J. Simpson chase, the Bronco I just showed you. That's the Warren report. This is the this O.J. Simpson's assault rifle. Here's Bonnie and Clyde's car. Look at all the bullet holes in it. This is the movie in real life. I'm pretty sure that Clyde died in a fire in spot, not in a car. John Dillinger's car, 1933 SX Terraplane, Hudson Motor Company. It's a nice car. And then there's Ted Bundy's 68 Volkswagen Beetle. Live set. Watch Saturday nights at 9 p.m. on Fox. John Walsh. Everybody knows about this show. When you come around this corner here, you see police lights. State and local law enforcement. Famous lawman profiles in courage. All this belonged to James Bulger. I I'd have to admit I didn't I didn't know about James Bulger until just now. Racketeering, I guess is it? Oh murder, all kinds of stuff. This stuff's pretty cool, these solar curtains. I was reading this, it says, reflects the sun's rays when the shiny side faces out, but retains heat when the shiny side faces in. I was like, ooh, I want them for my house. Help with that air conditioning and heating bill. <laughs> that's the first thing I thought. Isn't that awful? But that's apparent for you. I hope I'm getting enough for you guys. See, I don't, I don't know how, I mean, I'm sure we noticed because of different cameras, but I just moved from the GoPro to this camera in that cutscene right there. I think, anyways. If I didn't, I'm sorry. The GoPro didn't. Uh oh, look. There's me. That's me. Oh, no. Whoa, look. It's my legs. Isn't <laughs> that crazy? Here comes my son. Look at that one. It's pretty cool. Some possessions from the police department and the bomb squad. Gas gun. Pepper fog. Check that out. That's a tear 
CS2 smoke generator. That's crazy. It looks like a regular fog machine. Look who I got driving down the road on a hog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that bike looks too big for you. No. Over here. You know better than that. Yeah, well, I know. I know you can handle it. It's just, it's huge. I like it though. Let me see it. I want to see the engine. Does anybody know what kind of engine that is? I'm just kidding guys, you don't have to do it in this vlog. <laughs> sick, of that, sick of that joke, huh? What engine is that? What engine is that? We are having a blast in here though guys. This place is, oh look at this. It's an explosive robot. This place is absolutely huge. Huge, I tell you. I don't even know how far we have to go and we still have to work at 5 o'clock. <laughs> This is a chase lab. I believe somebody's going to chase. This is a new exhibit coming. It's in the testing phase right now. It's pretty cool. The guy's teaching her how to drive this virtual reality um, driving. Playing safe. This is the warnings for not for children under three. If you look down here, anything can lower down in here can go down a child's throat except for this car right here. Everything else goes right in. This is all fake counter. This is the counterfeiting room. All kinds of fake stuff. I believe this is the end. Guys, I think this is the last. Hoorah. Yep. This is the end, Becca. Guys, that was Alcatraz. I don't think you saw my face the way. Well, guys, that was, that was Alcatraz. We did it in about two hours, two hours. but we kind of hurried um, because we have to work in two hours. So I have to get home, edit this, upload work. Oh, it's just so crazy. But look right here, if you look right here, there's the waves. Well, my son's going out right now. So I, so I guess that's my cue to get out of here. Um, here, let's go. I'll take you with me. Truck on through this thing. Okay. So now we're in the gift shop. It's a really cool gift shop though. They got some cool stuff in here. Al all kinds of Alcatraz East memorabilia and merchandise. Some police. Oh, I like this. Crime scene do not cross scarf. That's cool. Crime. Ooh. There's a lot of cool stuff in here that I like. A lot of cool stuff. I'm going to have to come back and get some of this stuff. There's a bunch of books. There's a bunch of cool stuff. This right here is really bunch of cool. It's a bunch of kids' lab stuff. Metal detector robot. Buzz alarm money safe fingerprint kit. Pretty cool. Some dog tags. Some sticky, sticky notes for you. Some to do. And the old remember wings. No. Okay. Well. Headed back out. Oh, it's so bright out here once you come out of there. Oh dear, back to, oh no, I don't like this. No. Guys, we're back in civilization now. At least it's not too fun. Oh, not too fun. Okay, well, thanks for joining the vlog. Um, that place is awesome. Thumbs up all the way around in that place, huh? Yep. It's just absolutely fun, amazing. Interactive. Fun, yeah, interactive, fun. Um, be great for a field trip. Yeah, if families, I mean, if you could spend, actually, you could spend all day in there. If you went and did everything there is to do in there, every little machine, everything, you would spend from the time they open to the time they close in there. It's incredible. Look how big it is. Okay, that's it. Thanks for uh, joining us. We'll see you later. Thumbs up, share. Can't film out here because of the music. It's pretty though.